Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today we are actually back with a Colourpop review. I feel like it's been so long since my last one, like I literally can't remember the last collection I reviewed, but I'm so excited for this collection. This is Colourpop's 2024 Valentine's Day collection. It's called A Lost in Love. I think the packaging is super cute. And they have the heart blushes. They have a heart-shaped sponge. If you guys know me, you know that I'm obsessed with anything heart-shaped. So this collection was just screaming to me. Today's video is going to be more of like a first impression. I'm just going to be trying everything on with you guys on camera. And there is only one look, I know. But I don't have enough time to do three looks. I'm so sorry guys. I know it's been tradition for years, but regardless, I'm excited to review this collection. If you do want to purchase anything from this collection though, my affiliate code is still working. It is my name, Judy, at checkout. It's always there for you, but with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the review. All right, let's get started. I already did one eye off a of camera, but I feel like I need something on my lips. It's looking a little dull. So we're gonna go in with one of the lip and cheek balms. This is in Cutesy Wootsy. And I'm just gonna use this side as my lip. Pretty pigmented and creamy. I wouldn't say it's like the most hydrating product, but gives enough color. Just zoomed you guys up a little bit closer, but we're gonna start off with eye primer. I'm going in with my Kaleidos Tone Activator Eye Primer. I just like to dab it on with my ring finger, and then I like to go in with a brush to tap it out and really place it in. I feel like the older I'm getting, like these little creases on my eyes, they be creasing a little bit more, so just tapping it out. But let's dive into the eyeshadow palette. This is so cute. It's called Lost in Love. Like, very gummy, very cutesy. I really like it. I always love Colourpop's, like, Valentine's Day collections. They're so cute. So this palette is 18 USD, and it comes with their bigger size pan. I don't even know if Colourpop does their small pans anymore. I feel like I haven't really been keeping up with them as much. But this is the color story. So we have five mattes. There is some pearlescent shades and also some glitter shades as well as your regular metallic. So you do have a mixture but there is two of those glitter shades. Let's get started with the look. So I actually took a mixture of the shade Ever and Ever and the shade Dips. And this is going to be my base color slash transition. And you can't really see it at the end but I do feel like it's important just to get that base layer going. And we're just going to do my lids first and then I'll do my under eyes after we've set everything in place. I actually haven't done like a first impressions review in a very long, long time. So this video is going to be different. Usually with my Colourpop videos, I do have three looks, but I'm just like pressed on time, honestly. Like I'm not going to have time to film three looks for you. I don't know how people can film like multiple looks in one day, like do a look and then take it off and then do another look and take it off. Like my eyes will literally it will burn off. Like, I can't. I have to space my looks out and do, like, one a day. Random side note, I found this brush again. This is the BK Beauty 202. It's my favorite, like, taper blending brush, and I thought I lost it, but it was actually just in my closet because I have a bunch of brushes that I don't use um, that I keep that, like, you know, maybe I will need. And I don't know why it was in there because this is literally my daily brush and I literally couldn't find it. And then I found it and I feel like my makeup just looks good again. But these mattes are blending out so easily. It's been a while since I've played with any Colourpop products, honestly, and I've missed it. Like, I'm reminded why I loved Colourpop so much. Like, this blends out so easily, seamless. It's pigmented, like, what can I say? Then we're gonna go in with this shade here. It's called Just Us. This is the Sigma E42 brush. And this is just gonna go on at the outer corner of my eyes. I like to use more swiping motions when applying to the outer corner. And again, this works perfectly well. Like you see that goes on really nicely. Like the pigment is there and then it's super easy to blend. You guys, oh my gosh, okay. It's been a while since I've talked to the camera, so this is like low-key a little, a bit of a get ready with me at the same time. But my room is so messy. I was supposed to declutter it at the end of the year like I usually do, but I've been just, honestly, oh, I have no time to declutter this room because 
It's literally going to take me two weeks to do and I'm still gonna be decluttering because I have to. There's literally no room to walk. There's only a pathway for me to sit on my chair. There's just no, I can't even get into my makeup. Like it needs to be cleaned. And once it's clean, I'm gonna feel so fresh and like such a huge weight has lifted. But I am gonna be getting, ri not rid, I'm gonna like donate. I'm going to give it to friends and family. A lot of my makeup, especially a lot of my ColourPop makeup because my ColourPop collection takes up a lot of storage. Like I have one whole dedicated dresser that's seven drawers, all dedicated to ColourPop. And now that I don't really review ColourPop as frequently as I used to, I feel like I just don't need that much storage for anymore. So I feel like my comparisons might not be as in depth as they used to be. Um, but honestly, a lot of my products probably are expired, especially like the lip products. And I always want to review ColourPop, like don't get me wrong. I'm always going to be reviewing ColourPop, but I think I'm just going to be a bit more selective of what I review. Like this collection specifically, I actually ordered this collection myself, you guys. Like, I don't know when the last time I've made a ColourPop order on my own. There was another collection that I really wanted was their Sailor Moon collection. So like collections that actually interest me from ColourPop, I will review. But I think other than that, I don't know if I will get around to reviewing everything I receive in PR. Um, I think just at this point, it does feel a little bit repetitive. And this is just me speaking honestly. I still love ColourPop, like don't get me wrong, like that's my roots. I will always go back to that. Moving back onto the eyeshadow, I'm gonna take this shade here called Cupid Court, and this is a Sigma E57. And this shadow is a little bit more satin-like, like more pearlescent, like you can see. I'm gonna put it at the center of my eyes, but there is a bit of shine to it, but definitely a little bit more satin. And this is just going to blend into the outer corners really well, and just give that extra like pop. Like you see that Barbie pink there? That's definitely from the pearlescent shadow. I feel like having a good mixture of different textures in a palette is always nice. And then I always just go back and forth with my brushes to like just blend, 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 blend. This is why it takes so long to get ready is because I'm always just blending. I'm blending nothing like, <laughs> and I know guys, that's the only shadows I'm gonna be using from the palettes. You definitely can create something a little bit more orangey with these over here. And then there's like a pinky side to it as well. Um, which is very pretty. Actually, I will probably go in with one of these glitters later on, but we're gonna move into the Jelly Much shadows. There are three shades in total and they are nine US dollars each, or you can get all three in a bundle for 22. I feel like if you already have so many palettes in your collection, but you want something a little bit like extra, I would honestly maybe go for the bundle for the Jelly Much because these are so pretty. Uh, I'm wearing, okay, this shade over here is the lightest shade, which is Forever Valentine, and it's gorgeous. It's different from the powdered metallic shadows, okay? Like, it's just so pretty. So what I like to do is actually just take it on the lid, and I'll take some on my brush, but I will still wipe off the excess on my hand, and then I will dab that on to my lids and can you see how reflective that is? I think I'm just like not a cream person that like using anything cream bothers me but I really need to use these Jelly Much more because that is so pretty and this shade Forever Valentine, it's like the perfect ballet light baby pink and that reflect, there's not like too much micro glitters but you see that? Oh, I'm obsessed with this. With this kind of shadow, once it dries down it's not going to crease like it's going to stay in place and you know how i mentioned to you guys that my eyes have been creasing a little bit more we're not gonna have that issue anymore so i'm kind of like gonna be carving out my crease with this a little bit sort of like a soft cut crease just following the natural curve of my eye. Like any pink look that I'm doing now, I'm gonna be using this. Before we move along, I will show you guys the other Jelly Much shadows. So the first one is Forever Valentine. Like you guys see how reflective that is, right? And the next shade up is called All Love. This is really pretty as well. It's like a mid-tone pink, very silvery, like the way it reflects. So how am I gonna do this? Ooh, this one's pretty too. Okay, like it looks blotchy when I swatch it with this brush, but you're not gonna be applying it like this on your eye, you know what I mean? You're gonna be tapping it on. Oh, this one's nice as well. It has more of like a pink 
pinkness to it but it's still quite silvery so the last one is called moon and stars and this is more of like a coral shade oh okay it's like a corally pink like it's like a duochrome so you do have a good variation here and like you can see how just silky it literally looks like silk, right? I am just gonna go in with a separate glitter. This one is from Flower Nose from their Swan Ballet collection in number five. Just outlined that cut crease line just to emphasize, you see here? Just to emphasize that line a little bit. And I didn't take much, it's just a single line. There is a Glittery Obsessed Body Gel Glitter. And I did try to use this on my eyes and I did not like it. I felt like it was picking up the eyeshadow underneath. I don't know how I've used this in the past and it never was an issue. Um, so let me try and show you what kind of happened. So I just took a little brush inside and I dabbed the excess off because I just want the little sparkles to come off. Like it has a really strong like pink undertone and the little glitters are like purple, green and yellow. But when I was taking it on my brush, I think because the gel is just too gooey, I think I need this to like dry down a little bit more. I don't know. But I try to tap it on here. And then it would just be picking up the eyeshadow underneath, but okay, I don't know why it's working on this eye all of a sudden. But on my other eye, it was not working well. Okay, actually, like, it took off a little bit here. I mean, it's gonna be really hard for me to capture that. You just gotta take my word on it, <laughs> that it did pick up some product underneath. I wish Colourpop would make, like, glitter liners. Like something like this from Flower Nose. I wish they would make something like that. Okay, we're gonna go in with Totally Smitten. This is one of the glitters, and I'm just gonna dab that across the eye. Oh, that is so much better. A press glitter, that is so much better. It just gave like a little sparkle to the eye. Then finally, on to the lip and cheek balms. There are three shades in total. They are 12 US dollars each, or you can get them in a bundle of three for 32 USD. And these are just super cute. I feel like ever since ColourPop came out with these heart-shaped blushes, this is just part of their Valentine's Day collection, and I'm definitely collecting. So we have three shades. You saw I use Cutesy Wootsy on my lips. I think we'll go with this shade first because this is probably not going to be the final shade, but I'm gonna try and use it with their Heart Shape Beauty Sponge, which this is eight US dollars, and it actually does change a color. When you get it, it's red, but when you dip it into water, it changes to pink. But once it kind of like dries down a little bit, like this is still kind of like dead it goes red anyway but you can see when I press it in there is a bit of pink so the color changing is pretty cool but it's not super apparent but I do like the shape because the tip here is kind of more flat and this might be good for our blush we're gonna go in with cutesy wootsy and we'll try use the sponge okay that is a lot okay so with the sponge not too bad that is a lot and it's very glossy. I actually didn't think I was going to like the sponge because of the texture, but I don't see any texture of the sponge translating onto my skin and it actually applied it super well. Guys, if you want glass skin, I don't know if it's my oily skin, but girl, like that is, you gotta tell me that's glass skin right there. Okay, then we're gonna go in with the medium shade. This one is called Adore You. And off the bat, I just love that shade name because my favorite band ever, one of my favorite bands, Seventeen, their debut song was called Adore You. It's literally my favorite song ever. But I'm gonna try it with a brush this time. This is the BK Beauty 106. Okay, why does this shade look exactly the same as this shade? So with the brush side, I feel like that goes on pretty well. No issues there. This formula is actually not bad. Like, personally, it's not a formula that I'm going to use. I don't... I don't want my cheeks to look this glossy and I guess because it is a balm it's going to be a little bit more shiny. I will say I probably like how the sponge applied it more. So on this side it's cutesy wootsy and then on this side it is adore you. I think adore you is like slightly lighter like this one's a lot more vibrant. This one's a little bit more toned down but 
think they're quite similar on the cheeks, honestly. I think you could do with one or the other. I don't think you really need both. And then the last blush color is called Hearts Content. And this time I'm going to use a little puff. I've been loving these little puffs for cream blush ever since I got the flower nose cream blushes. I've been literally using this every day. It's just like a more puffy cushion puff. So I just like to take a little bit. The reason why I like using this puff is because I feel like it just applies on the product so seamlessly and it gives you that soft diffusion without even having to try and like look at that okay these blushes definitely go a little bit like darker and brighter like i feel like even this is a bit too bright for me so i think if you're interested in like cream blushes definitely would recommend i think there's no issues with it at all i think for me personally like the colors are just not my favorite, so I don't really see myself using it, but I think it goes on really nicely as a base. But I really need to like set my face in, like I'm sick of looking this oily. Today I'm using the Moira Set and Correct Loose Setting Powder in Rose Pink. So there's a bit of purple in here as well, it's like a mixture. And I feel like once you have powder on, the diffusion, so much nicer. So much nicer. And let's just quickly finish off the eyes. I'm gonna take the shade Dibs. I'm just gonna sweep that all over my lower lash line just for a base color. Then taking the shade Just Us. This is the Sigma E15. And I'm gonna focus this at the outer corner of my eyes, like underneath the waterline. And then towards the center, I like to sort of bring it into the waterline. And just going back in with the same Swan Ballet glitter, just going to highlight my under eye. And I'm actually just going to go in with the shade Falling and just putting that on top of the glitter just to enhance and brighten it. And then lastly in the collection we have the ultra glossy lips these are nine us dollars each or you can get it in a bundle of three for 24 usd the packaging is really cute has little hearts on the cap i have not used an ultra glossy lip in forever so we're gonna swatch all of them the first shade which is the lightest sort of peachy pink this is one kiss and i was swatching it on my hand and it looks like the doe foot applicator has changed a bit from my memory. I think they always had a scent, right? The ultra glossy lips, I feel like they did have a scent. So one kiss on me definitely is like a nude peach. It's almost clear, but it has a hint of peach in there. I personally don't like nude lips on me, but I can see a lot of people really liking this paired with a darker lip liner. That would be so pretty. Then the next shade is called Taken. This is the mid-tone Barbie pink. I feel like I'm gonna like this one the most. So let's swatch. So this is Taken just on my bare lips. That is really pretty. Like I like that tint of pink and it's like more of a cooler tone pink as well. Isn't that pretty guys? And the last shade we have here is called Lover Era. And in the bottle there's definitely a lot more glitters. Mmm, I actually might like this one the best. That's really pretty. I really do enjoy this. This is very pretty. If I ever need like a pink gloss, I definitely will be going to these. Alright guys, here is the final look using the Lost in Love Valentine's Day collection from Colourpop. Oh, what do we think? I really do like how everything turned out. I think all the products worked great. I think for me personally, the standout products was definitely the Jelly Mudge eyeshadows, especially the shade All Love. I didn't get to use all the other shades, but definitely All Love is going to be like in my routine. Like I 
I just think these are so beautiful. Like the Jelly Munch for me would have to be the standout. I think the sponge is really cute. Like I like how they did something different and how it changes. It's a heart shape and the shape of it's actually quite nice. Like the way it applied the blush, like you guys saw how that went on. The blushes are really nice. I think if you are into cream blushes, very very pretty i don't think you need all though maybe just like one and i think you'll be good so yeah overall i really did enjoy this collection it was fun to review it like this like just on camera although for me personally i don't do this type of review that frequently because i like to test out a product and tell you what's good but i think because i know ColourPop so well and their formulas i can tell sort of off the bat whether i'm gonna like something or not so i don't really need that much time to test these products out so let me know what you guys think of this like review View style if you don't mind me like not doing three looks all the time because like I mentioned three looks do take me a long time to film there's just a lot more to review and I'm still a one woman show out here guys but with that being said guys that does conclude today's video the first Colourpop review of the year and first Colourpop review in a while thank you guys so much for watching I love you so much and I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video bye